things on my mind. Looking at something. The only benefit to a mirror when you have my condition. It doesn't quite make up for the lack of a reflection, mind you. Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. I... I don't know. I can't remember. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. What? I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What you see. Oh. Go on. Very good. Now just tell me I'm beautiful and we can call it a day. Observant. Mirrors aren't much use, but being reflected in someone else's eyes? Well, I could do worse. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. It's complicated. But I'm an adventurer. Just like you. Just like you. I was infected with a Mind Flayer parasite. Just like you. I seek to be free of it. But to do that, We'll need to think beyond local healers. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. I have powers of my own. Unique powers. But know that we are alike. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. 
If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. No, it isn't safe. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. <sighs> what path lies before me? I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the Absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers, the result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. It could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. existential evils go, the Absolute certainly seems an adversary worth holding in its tracks. Any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpole's capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Could be. But I'm not sure either. And I'd rather rely on our wits and our weapons than a tadpole that could be up to anything in there. Where would you start? You give me chills, baby. No mean feet at my temperature. God, I better find a way to cool me off soon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. I had another dream. Which, I suppose, means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute, but wants us to embrace the Tadpole. Venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. And if that fails, then there's always killing them quietly. Now, was there anything else? What now? Let's get going. If not over, then through. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the Absolute Cultist's lair. 
and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into a lithid madness it could drag us. Well chosen. Battles are won with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. And there will come a battle, of that I'm most certain. The one truth that fell out of the dream figure's cankered lips. It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasite served a geich elder, but I believe they serve a greater master still. A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Seems simple enough. Scouts just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Hal Sin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing! We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. It was you, right? Who took care of the goblins? I knew you were a good one. I should speak up. So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Of course. May you keep balance. Moving in. What's hiding here? Oh, don't mind if I do.
hell's it take me? What I wouldn't do for better tools. Keep a blade close. How for a skeleton key? Let's see here. Just help myself. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. I wish I had better, but this is all I have. All's well that ends. Ooh, not as bad as it could have. Damn, druids. How much farther can I go? You don't see that. Very I well. thought I had been a good teacher. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. Goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence. The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Halcyon. She knows now what cavorting in the shadows brings her. She will not stray again. Besides, this is no time to lose a promising druid. You will soon see why. 
But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. If only you had come to this place in more peaceful times. You'd have been a welcome addition. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. Banished. Then banish me. When the coming comes, there will be none. The F is different. Colder. How long will we chanting? I wasn't sure about you at first. Thought you might be trouble. I was very wrong. You done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. As am I. The grove will be whole again. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. You kept your word. Thank you. Ha! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do when you told me about that tadpole. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanus's peace to this place, but I'll have the chance, thanks to you. Brimming with magic. Take it.
More for me. Grave, the druid's notebook mentioned. Its owner thought it was cursed. Taste my fury. 
Thanks.
What now? Take that. a break. <sighs> Enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. We couldn't have held them back on our own. Thank you. <laughs> 